All right, it's about 5 a.m. here on Saturday, October 29th, and it's a little chilly inside the tent, so I got my little buddy heater going, and he is definitely my friend this morning. So the plan is I'm going to go just west of camp. There's a scrape line that goes from the northeast to the southwest, and on the northern side of that scrape line is a string of persimmon trees. So I'm going to be about 20, year, 20 yards off that scrape line, and hopefully something swings through. They'll, they'll either be following that, or there's another scrape line to the east of camp that kind of runs parallel to it. And what we've noticed is they'll run that scrape line until they get to that southern edge of camp. And then they'll ride that ridge around on that south facing slope around to where I'm going to be sitting. And if the wind does what it says it's going to do, then I'll be in the perfect spot to intercept those deer. But, you know, with the way these hills roll, you know, that wind will eddy and switch back. So hopefully my scent control is good. I did have a couple of encounters with a really nice buck last year in this area. As far as I know, he's still kicking. He's still alive. I found his sheds, so we'll see if he swings by. It is youth rifle season this weekend in Missouri, so we do have to wear orange, but uh, no biggie. We'll be out there at Thurbo and see if we can't uh, make something happen. So I'm going to finish getting dressed, getting some food in me, and then I'll be ready to rock.
so I that's her entrance room right there on that neck. Now she was quartering two. I had put my pin. Actually, I'd kind of floated my twenty yard pin because she was at twenty five. So I was right there. I'm not gonna say I didn't punch the trigger. I don't think I punched it that bad. I'm gonna have to watch the footage again. I know it's as jumpy as she was. I'm, but you know, she had to have jumped the string. Not the most ideal shot, but I'm, I'm glad it worked out the way it did. So, note to self, you know, just really watch that trigger punching, especially when they're jumpy like that, because they're going to jump the string. It's a good, good place to be for a morning set. In fact, I'm going to sit there tomorrow. I left my sticks on my platform. When I shot her, I, she went far enough down the ridge. I, I really don't think I messed the area up at all. I'm, I'm out in a different spot this afternoon. I'm on the other end of the property in a little place we call the Yukon. There's not much to it. It's just a big bowl. And in the bowl is a little clearing with some cedar trees on either end. And it's surrounded by white oaks. There's a couple of heavily used game trails that kind of converge right here as they're going into those cedar trees. So hopefully they'll be moving through this afternoon. I got a lot of pictures on my game camera. Um, toes. A couple of different bucks. Nothing spectacular. things that one I even got to see him and two you know I'm already I'm already one up on the day so I already have 